Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. Now, over the last few days, we were working with Varung to finish off his quest line, and we finally did. He sent us to another area of the map, uh, but I decided to come back over here to the Iroto Brigade Fort that we were at uh, and finish off all these quests over here before we go further and further into the zone. Uh, now, we are in front of Hammerborn right here. We're going to go ahead and talk to him for the first time, see what quest he has to offer us, what it entails, and I'll take you through every bit of it uh, and, see, and show you what the reward is at the end. Yeah, what do you want? Another thing, I was just curious if you had any work. You seem agitated. Are you okay? Bah, of course I'm agitated. I was working up a heckish early this morning for guard duty thanks to those pesky AVOX. I didn't even get my breakfast, so now I'm starving, tired, and as a result of that, I'm grumpy. Uh, sorry to hear that. Maybe I can stand watch for you while you get some sleep? Or, uh, well, you don't have to take it out on me. Maybe I should just leave you to... Uh, to be, you know. So if we're gonna go say maybe we can stand watch for him. I doubt he's gonna accept it because it's not like you just replace, uh, you know, spots with a military guy, but no, 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 don't do that. Well, is there any other way I can help? Maybe. You do seem like you can handle yourself. Look, the only reason I'm even on this silly emergency watch is to ensure nothing is stolen by the Kreplume Avox. They have been attacking us recently. Always from the air, the little cowards. The predators strike at our forces while the scavengers steal our supplies. Sure, I'm here to stop that from happening, but they don't attack that often on fiercely. So what if they steal a few supply crates from us? What would you like me to do? Uh, what would really help us is if they didn't attack at all. I'd like you to send them a message. That attacking us will result in the demise of their forces. If they listen, it would make my watch as boring as possible, and it might give me a chance to get some shut-eye while I'm on guard duty. Uh, what do you say? That doesn't sound too difficult. Consider it done. So what, you're just going to be really lazy while I do all the work, fine, whatever. <laughs> That's how all these quests work. They, they, they give you the reward, you go out and do the work. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, the Crab Clone's message. Level 29. So it is a little bit higher than what we are right now, but we probably can do it. Level, uh, or at least 1 gold, 60 silver, and 26 copper. Just great. The Avox are just west of here. Entrance is some cliff leading up to their roost, or mesa, or whatever. Don't die. I don't need sending you to an early death on my conscience. Uh, yeah, thanks for your concern. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is slay eight predators uh, and four scavengers. So on this one, it's not as simple as just slaying uh, any cla or, you know, any Avox that we have in the sea. We actually need uh, a certain number of each individual kind, so... It may be more difficult than just working your way up and then working your way back down again. Uh, some of these, I, I believe you get a, an equal number of scavengers and predators up here, but we'll have to see. They may just all be predators. No, there's the scavengers. So if you take the ones on the path as well as the ones floating above the path, uh, you should be fine. Because as you see, there's more on the path than there is floating off of it, which is probably why they wanted us to kill more predators uh, than scavengers. We actually ended up getting uh, an ad, which is what you call it uh, if you're in a group. You just let them know that there's an extra one there. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. If you want to say extra mob or, uh, oh, we got another mob or whatever you want to say. Ad is just short. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of keystrokes to do it. And usually in the heat of a battle, you don't really have time to sit there and type out a, a huge, long, drawn-out message. Uh, you, normally, uh, a lot of people will use a shorthand when texting. Uh, and that can kind of drive me a little crazy, uh, depending on what the words are that you're using. I mean, some, sometimes they use really shorthand for words that are already really short anyways, but in situations like this where you're kind of pressed for the amount of time that you have when, when replying and doing other things, then, then I can understand, you know, using shorthand. Uh, so everybody pretty much does it, no matter uh, what your age, race, or creed is, uh, you know, you're going to pick that up over time. So don't feel bad if you don't know what what some of it means, uh, you're welcome to ask. Uh, most people will not give you a hard time. In fact, uh, they'll be happy you did because if you don't ask, you have no clue what they're talking about and you may get them killed. Uh, so, you know, when in doubt, just, uh, you know, let them know that, hey, you know, I'm new to the game or I'm newish to the game. Uh, I don't know what that word means. I don't know what those abbreviations mean. Uh, any chance you could let me know. Uh, that's how I've learned everything just asking questions or coming up with it on my own 
Uh, I've come up with a few ca catchphrases on my own, or seem to have. Uh, they have seemed to uh, to catch on a little bit here and there, but you know, I wasn't trying to set a trend or anything like that. I was just trying to, you know, do what I needed to do with uh, using the least amount of of words as possible if I had to. So these guys are definitely a lot easier with just one level improvement. So you can see that every level makes a huge difference, apparently, uh, when fighting some of these creatures. I'm not even taking hits as bad as I was before. Uh, if you remember, I was getting pretty low on life from fighting these guys. Go ahead and heal myself up again. So I'm already at three uh, predators, and this is going to be my third scavenger as soon as he comes closer to the wall. And I've mentioned it in my other videos, but for those of you who may not have watched all of them, you need to remember that these guys spawn rather quickly. If you're killing them like I am with the, you know, not the greatest of speed, you know, you're not just burning right through them, the chances are by the time you get ready to head back down, uh, they're going to be respawning already. So you want to make sure that uh, you keep that in mind. If you come up here and you need 15 of these guys, uh, by the time you get 7 or 8, you can start hitting back down and just kill them again on the way back. Because uh, you are going to have to go through it regardless. So, unless you're planning on just uh, jumping off the cliff or using your flying mount, or, you know, something of those sorts gating out, uh, just keep in mind that you can limit how many high level ones you have to attack. Because the, the further up this cliff you go, the higher the level the creature is going to be. Uh, so if you're having problems with them, you know, just stay on the bottom. There's no reason you have to head all the way up here to the top. Let's go ahead and snag this guy if we can. I need more predators. So I'm actually skipping some of those guys because there seems to be more scavengers than we need. Uh, we need more predators. Add there, maybe. Yep. So this will actually be the last scavenger we need. If we survive, that is. I killed him already. Seriously? That guy took forever to die. And I got full of life again, because I got another little bubble. Now, looting those relics actually increase the amount of experience gain for your guild. Uh, and then you can turn them up for status points for yourself. So, definitely something nice to, uh, to get. If you're not in a guild yet, uh, then I would suggest joining one. They not only help you out as far as finding groups and maybe making stuff for you, because at higher levels, if you have somebody who's, you know, a high-level trade skiller, it may have taken them quite a bit of money to get to that point, but now that they're at that point, it doesn't really take that much money to make the items. So as long as they're willing to put themselves in the mindset of trying to help you out, uh, it, the, a lot of the times they will just give you the stuff for free uh, when they make it. You know, it takes their time, so be grateful for that. But at the same time, uh, the items you're getting will be so much better than anything you could afford or even think about a 40 yet, uh, that it's really, really nice, you know. So take advantage of it in the sense that they are willing to help you out. There's really nice people on here, uh, and you are going to need it, so let's go ahead and see if we can head back down without getting attacked and pick up one more predator that should have spawned on the way back. Aw, oh, come on, you're telling me nothing has spawned on the way down? Oh, there we go. All we needed was one. killing a lot faster than we were last time because on the last video we did up here they all spawned before we could even get down to the bottom or even turn around to go down to the bottom so and if you look at the experience down here it actually changes if you earn AA points it will switch and show you AA if you earn experience points it will switch and show you experience points uh, if you earn trade skill experience it will show you your trade skill level so it will automatically switch to whatever experience you're gaining at that time. Uh, if 
you want to manually change it back, you just right click on the bar and say show adventure experience or show trade skill experience. Uh, and it will show you how much experience you have, uh, you know, how much vitality points you have. Uh, vitality is basically a bonus. They, they initiated that or put that in uh, because in EverQuest 1, when a new expansion would come out, people would sit there forever trying to level up and they wouldn't want to log off because they would fall behind. Uh, now you can take a break and you actually earn vitality and when you log back on you get twice the amount of experience. So you can rather, you know, you can catch up to somebody who hasn't logged off uh, and you have gotten some sleep or you went to work and did something, so. Well, is it done? I've been rather quiet around here this morning. Seems like you've struck fear into their little birdie hearts. Uh, you shouldn't have any more problems from them. I don't even remember how many I killed, if that is any indication. So, just because I went over there and killed some doesn't necessarily mean they're going to leave us alone. In fact, if war has, or, you know, countries have anything uh, to show about it, usually that means things will escalate, but we'll just have to see what happens. So, uh, the Crab Plume message, level 29, we got 3 gold, 31 silver, and 35 copper. Uh, so this is probably going to lead to the next uh, line of quest. So again, guys, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys about what you enjoy when you're watching these videos. Uh, I make these videos daily, uh, so if you uh, enjoy that part or maybe you want to see them uh, less you know, common, maybe once a week, twice a week, something like that. I also do daily videos for quite a few other uh, video games, whether it's EverQuest 1, Firefall, uh, Under Rail. Uh, they're all being done daily, so if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you're going to get a lot of uh, you know notices and stuff that I'm making videos. So if you don't want to see those videos, but you like EverQuest 2, uh, simply subscribe to the actual playlist. I put all these in different playlists for Butcher Block. Uh, when I move to a new zone, I'll do a whole new playlist for those zones uh, that you can subscribe to those as well. And again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, you guys are what make these videos uh, worthwhile. And uh, your your uh, comments down below make uh, everything I do, uh, you know, definitely uh, appreciated, it seems. So I want to thank you for that. And I'll catch you on the next episode.